Chez Seigneur, qu'un bébé et de moi de te faire moi bouquet fatigué So, as you can see, I'm in uniform on my work, man. So, it's been a very tough, depressing day. You know what I mean? Since yesterday, so we, we've we been losing so many patients here, so many young patients. So, um, so I had to step back a little bit, sit in that corner, you know what I mean? I mean, to think to the tank, um, Think about myself, you know, my loved one, the people that, that are close to me. And um, I just come here to kind of reset, you know, um, to, to really bow down to the, to, the, to the God up there, to the higher power. You know, because um, this thing sometimes, you know, life can sometimes be overwhelming, you know what I mean? Can can be very stressful, but... Um, if we focus on ourselves, we're gonna lose. But you know, if we let God lead our life, and uh, we surrender everything to Him, we focus on Him, we will overcome whatever challenge that come our way. We will not lose. So, for those of you that are thinking um, this end of the year that you don't have the money to buy um, whatever gifts are for your children, uh, listen to me. Christmas is not about giving gifts or anything like that, you know what I mean? Christmas is salvation. Christmas is God himself came down to us, uh, to, uh, came to rescue us. He came as a baby, as a humble baby. So, have you ever wondered why Christ was born in a manger? He was born in a manger just for people like you and me. For the for the hopeless, for the poor, for the sick, for the one that have no friends, for the one that have no family, for the outcast, so that we could have also have access to the kingdom. Had Christ w- was born in a palace, in the kingdom, in a in a in a, in a five star hotel, like um people uh, back then in society where. We're waiting for a king, a king that was gonna come on a kingdom, a king that was gonna that was gonna be born on a five star hotel. But um, to the surprise, Christ was born in a manger, just so people as me and you could have have access to also to his life, to his um sacrifice, to the eternal life, you know. As knowing what I know about society, um, if Christ was born in a hotel, in a five-star hotel, in a manger, on a kingdom, only the rich people was gonna have access to him. So thanks to God the Father Himself, Jesus Christ, uh, He humbled Himself 
to the lowest level of society, born in a manger with the animals. So to give people like me and you that have no contact, no, uh, no class in society, access to, to the best. You know, he, he humbled himself as the less in society just to just to be able to elevate me mass you and the whole world to elevate earth to the highest level that that is uh, uh, in society which is um, Christ himself there's nobody that is above Christ there's no name the name of God the name of Jesus is above all name the Bible says uh, every knee shall bow in front of the name of Jesus so it's the end of the year um, I want you to take a minute to thank to thank him to give him thank for your life for the whole year don't think about what you don't have just thank him for everything that you that he gave you everything that he put at your disposition that you can have. Thank him for life. Thank him for health. Thank him as um, as challenging that you might think a 2020 is or was. 2020 is, is still a year, the year of God, the year of the Lord. 2020 is the best year. So what I can say, a, a, a lot of bad things happened happen in 2020, but 2020 was a good year. It just so a, a bunch of bad things happened to many people, to many friends, to many families. So my encouragement for you to, uh, tonight is to make Christ himself, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of your life. Because um, 2021, it doesn't matter what uh, uh, year of resolution that you have, you cannot make 2021 a better year if God himself does not really um, give us the chance to have a better year, to see a better year. So I want um, us around the world in society to humble ourselves to God, to give him thanks, to put him first in our life in society because we are not in control. Our money, our, our, our class, our relationship, our position in society does not make us in control and remember jesus is always in control of this world this is his world he's in control he never lose control no matter what you see happening around you he's in control no matter who that you see taking power what is happening he is in control he's in full control christ is not surprised by anything that is happening right now Whatever you see is happening right now or will happen in the future, God already knew about them since the beginning. Um, I was thinking last night, I was like, do you think God is surprised about what's happening right now in 2020, about um, the advanced world that we have, in, that we have the technologies, um, uh, big companies, uh, electrical cars, self, self-driven cars, airplanes, um, fast speed uh, trains, all those kind of things, internet, electricity. Do you think God is surprised? Do you think God really uh, impressed by all those things that we are having right now? I don't think so. Since before creation, God was already knew all those things were going to happen in this time in the 21st century so he does not he doesn't get impressed so he's he knows the future already he's in control of today right now he's, he's in control of the future the future is in his hand so i want you to focus on the future focus on god and let him lead because you worrying yourself you cannot change anything and whatever that god has in plan for in, in his in plan for you Trust him because he will not disappoint you. So, my folks, um, I will 
come back hopefully next week because as you can see i'm at work i'm hiding somewhere in the back so i um i wanted to talk to you for a little bit but you know what may god bless you remember that god is in control i love you and you stay safe in heaven and, and have a merry christmas remember christmas is not about gift giving on none of those things are going to party christmas is salvation so the best gift that you can give yourself this christmas is to accept christ as your personal savior and remember anything anything that you do don't you dare die without accept christ as your personal savior because when when we talk about failure the biggest failure is to die without having Jesus Christ as your personal savior. You can have the success, the, boss, the, the, the biggest success, the success of Elon Musk, the success of Bill Gates, but if you die without having Jesus Christ as your personal savior, you are the biggest failure because the Bible say, everything that you see here, they will pass away, but the word of God will live on forever and ever. May God bless you and I love you. Until next time, bye-bye.